Hello YouTube, it's Das Gregor and welcome back to a Gen 2 in review. Today we are going to talk about another issue when updating your system. If we look at this partition here, or this console I should say, and we zoom up to a long long time ago, which should be way up here, Last night, we're at 65 of 269, still got to go a little ways. Last night, I did an emerge sync, and it came back with wanting to update KDE to 4.11.5, as you can see right there. And so I went ahead and let it do its thing. And that's, of course, after doing... I think that's still part of all the programming. Either way, you know, I let it do its thing. 269 packages, all of this stuff here. I guess I really didn't need to do that. We'll just get back down to the bottom. And when it was all said and done, you know, it gives you a lot of this information right here that's good. You know, one thing I do, and if you're doing an emerge from your console inside of KDE or something, it's always good to go into your settings and if you edit the current profile and go to scrolling I always do an unlimited scroll back sometimes it's good to be able to go back far enough to be able to see everything especially if there are notes about the installation and so with this for instance it finished installing all those packages all 269 and then there was some information, like for instance, for Q Comic Book, it had some extra uh, file zip style programs that you can install to make it work better. It talked about how the fact that I don't have my my proper environment languages set up for these couple things. Uh, we move on. It talks about how if you want to have scanner support, you need to install KSane plugins etc etc all these little things are helpful hints that can help you out but what I wanted to focus on today was this at the very bottom exist existing preserved libs or libraries what it's saying here is that the image magic library which is found in user lib 64 is now broken and therefore is going to break programs like DVD author transcode two other programs it says it goes on here and it says to rebuild these packages using these libraries you need to use and this is something new within the last six months I think emerge space at preserved rebuild now one thing when things like this break and it's nice that it shows you and tells you and makes a tool that you can easily fix but you want to look at it and make sure that everything is proper. That, for instance, there might be a library that it got that's broken now that shouldn't be reserved and you preserved. And you may want to look at what applications that are being affected by it and remove those applications and then kind of run another emerge to see if everything looks proper or a rev dep rebuild, as I've talked about in my Gen Toolkit stuff. So what we're going to do here is go ahead and do an emerge and see how that looks. We're going to copy that verbiage. Now one thing that you might want to do when doing something like this is I like to go back in there and add a few command lines like A, V, and in this case P. And you don't, and actually you want to do P, V, not A, V, P. What A does is tell you to ask first before installing. P does a pretend and of course V does verbose so you can see everything that's going to do so in essence what I'm asking it to do right here is emerge pretend to set up the file system and give me verbose information about what it's going to do so in this case it's telling me that Calibre, Transcode and DVD Author are going to need to be reinstalled to fix the discrepancy with Image Magic. Now, you always want to go through and look at this list first and make sure that that looks proper. 
sometimes for instance as I said you might it might be a tool you don't need anymore it might be that you used an unstable package and you need to make sure to be careful not to create more unstable packages you know you can end up by you can end up what I mean by that is you say for instance something says hey I need an unstable version of package X so you go in there and you say okay accept the keywords for package X you try to remerge again and suddenly you've got okay that's cool but now that I've got package X unstable package X requires package uh, X and or, or Y and Z to be unstable so it can be supported by it so then you have to un mark those and make those unstable next thing you know you've got X Y and Z that are unstable and Y and Z are saying oh but now that I'm unstable on this version I require these libraries to be unstable and you can without even realizing it suddenly unmark a dozen different libraries to make them unstable just to make the program X work proper and I hope I'm not confusing you by using XYZ all that sort of stuff but the point is you can suddenly break your whole system because you don't understand then that other packages like DVD author transcode Calibre in this case required image magic version 6.885 and by allowing say something like another program that requires a newer version of it to update that library you've just broken a whole bunch of other stuff something to be very careful when doing emergent so in this case it's safe we're gonna go ahead and come back into this command line get rid of the P tell it enter and it should reinstall those three packages now I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video here let it go so it's saying it's probably gonna take a couple minutes to to reinstall those couple things there and we will get right back to it okay and we're back and then actually it took about a minute and 32 seconds to two minutes to complete and as you'll see that it's gotten all the way through and it now says that there are a couple ex or configuration files that we may need to look at so always remember when doing an update that you do an etc update and there's a newer command but i prefer etc update it's what i've used over the years and i'm much more familiar and comfortable with it so we check that out and it says that there's something within also.conf it wants to look at now when you see something like this and you run this it's very simple if you hit one you're looking at the first line in this case etc modprobe.d also.conf now if there were multiple configurations that you may need to look at you'd see one two three four five etc and at this point though you just pick the one that you want to look at and it'll show you what it's going to do so in this case we look at this now everything with a minus sign on it it's going to get rid of and everything with a plus sign it wants to add now, those first couple things here at the top you don't need to worry about that that's just kind of a signature for the file but you see here it's trying to uninstall all of this stuff here it's trying to add these uh, a couple lines here it's going to subtract all of this here it's going to add some more stuff and I'll be honest with you I don't feel comfortable when it's subtracting so many things here especially when my sound is working perfectly and there's no reason to screw it up so in a case like this what I would do is you want to hit shift ZZ to get out of it I don't know why every time I do a video my wife's phone likes to decide to start chatting but it does but besides that you get back to this menu when you hit the shift ZZ you can have a couple choices replace original with the update delete the update and keep the original interactively merge it which can be difficult to do show the differences again save update as an example config now in this case since I know there's nothing wrong with my also it really didn't do anything to update it I'm gonna delete the update and keep my original always be careful when you get files like that for instance if you've updated your sudoers list for sudo or you've updated other configuration files to customize it for your system always be aware that if that 
if that package gets updated, it's going to want to rewrite that, oh, well, I'm complaining about my wife's and there goes my phone. I've got to learn to start putting those things on vibrate. Any which way. Moving along, you got to remember that when you update a package, it's going to want to take those configuration files and put them back to a default that they think it ought to be without any of your settings. So always be careful when updating your system that you don't rewrite your configuration files with vanilla blank information that the application wants to do as if you had installed it for the first time. So we did a two, meaning we want to delete the update, keep the original. It'll ask us when we remove the update. We say yes. It gets rid of it. There's nothing else to do. Another thing you want to do after you've done such a huge update as I have is a emerge dash A V U N capital N capital D. Now what that is is A is for ask, V is for boost, U is for updates, capital N is for new uses, and capital D is for a deep review. And we want to do a world. Now emerging that with world is going to check all your package structures again since the last emerge dash dash sync and verify that everything is up to date and that there are, n are no problems with the current setup. Now sometimes that doesn't always work right and you'll want to use a tool that comes with the gen toolkit which is very good to run but can sometimes take two to five minutes or more depending on how big your system is and that is RevDep Rebuild. That's R-E-V DEP dash rebuild and what that will do is check your libraries also look for broken packages or broken settings and just verify that everything looks good for your system now, while it calculates dependencies here it hopefully won't take too much more time since we just recently did a lot of this and we'll be able to get on so, but since I don't know how long it takes and I'm no good at editing, I'm going to go ahead and pause it for a moment and we'll get right back to it as soon as it finishes here. And good old Murphy's Law, let me tell you, as soon as I clicked the pause button, it immediately finished, of course, and came back and said that nothing was done and nothing needs to be done, that we are at zero packages that are, need to be updated. Now, one thing you want to do when you're finished with all your updates and everything looks good is... You'll want to do an emerge dash pv dash dash depth clean. Now, the reason why you want to use a dash pv is you want to pre have it pretend that it's doing it because you don't want it to do just this just yet because you need to look at everything first. The dash dash depth clean is going to look for dependencies that you might have installed or applications that are no longer linked to other applications that you don't really need. So if we look at this, there are a lot of little applications. There are even some issues up here, it looks like, that it went through while it was searching. And we also have to remember that we have not rebooted since we have rebuilt this, and we are still in the old version of KDE. It is very important to make sure once you do a huge update like this to reboot the system and make sure that it's using the right programs. Now I can already tell you things like the KSANE plugin, the DER Manager, P7ZIP, UNACE, ICO Utils, RAR, uh, LibKSANE, you know those sort of things, same backends, those are all items that it recently just told me that if I wanted this feature in the program or not, I should install those. So I don't really want to uninstall them. And if I want to keep them, if you remember at the top here, and this is why it's important to go through this list, we zoom up all the way up to the top where we first started, it gave you a, a very important line that you may need to use. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that it has here. Yeah, faster, faster, faster. Come on, scroll, scroll. We can get there. You can do it. Oy vey. 
This is a lot more than I thought. See if we can get there. Zoom, 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 zoom. All right, before I do this command, I'm going to reboot. See if I can get find that. should be with it. All right, here we are. Now, if you ever find an, and you look through there and say, oh, no, I need that application, then you need to do this. Emerge space dash dash no replace space name of the package. That will add that package to your world list and therefore will protect it from being removed through a depth clean. Important thing to know. Well, that's pretty much it for right now. I'm going to go ahead and reboot my system. Do those uh, no replace issues to keep the ones that I want to hold on to and see how things go. I hope that helps somebody out when they're doing an update. Remember that preserved uh, command with eMerge and always, always review what happens within Gen 2 before you commit to the changes because it can be very unforgiving if you don't pay attention. And I have in the past done, for instance, a depth clean and just wiped out half my libraries that I used and it needed because it didn't think anything was used by it. And then the next thing I know, package one through seven were all busted and broken and I had to figure out what was wrong and rebuild it all just to get it back. So hope that helps somebody out. So as I always say, if it's morning, evening, noon, or night, whatever you're having, I hope you enjoy it. Thanks for listening. I hope this helps somebody out. Until next time, goodbye, and we'll talk to you later. Bye.